Hello to everybody, students. Welcome back to our English class. So, in the last session, we have discussed about the half of the price, that is eighth unit, part one children. So, in this session, we are going to deal about the same topic, the part two. Half of the lesson we have came across to children. So, the remaining part will continue in this session, right? So, we have came to know that in the part one. What we have came to know, we have came to know that there are two characters, the gatekeeper and the fisherman. So, a fisherman is a very wise person who has a daughter. Okay, he had one daughter who is about 17 years old and he is in search of the bridegroom to get her married, to get to the marry of her daughter. Right, children? So, some people of his village advised him for fisherman to go and meet near uh, go and meet to Raja for the help for which kind of help he is going to ask why because now the fisherman needed a lot of money to give to the bridegroom who is going to marry his daughter so he don't have that much of money he was very poor children so for that purpose he went near to the Raja he wanted to meet for the Raja but during that time so the person the gatekeeper who is standing near to the gate he stopped him and he is advising him uh, to, to give the half of the price, whatever the Raja is giving, uh, whatever the Raja is given to the fisherman as a gift. So, what, why he simply is not giving, sorry, why, why simply, simply the Raja is not going to give the price to the fisherman here. The fisherman has taken one fish to the Raja to give him, okay. So, they have agreed the deal and uh, let us see what will happen in the part of children. So, everybody should have to take the page number 111 children. Okay. So, 111 page number. Last paragraph children. The fisherman appeared before the Raja with his big fish. He placed the fish with great respect at the Raja's feet. Okay. So, however, lastly, the fisherman and the gatekeeper has agreed to the deal to give the half of the price which was given by the Raja here. Okay, which was given by the Raja. Now the gatekeeper has allowed for the fisherman to meet with the Raja here. Now he kept whatever the fish he has taken of children, he kept uh, he placed the fish with great respect at the Raja's feet. Now fisherman is began to speak with the Raja here. I have long wish to see you your highness and pay my respect to you okay your highness children the meaning of your highness is nothing but giving one kind of respect to the royal people who are the royals the king the queens for them we are going to call the royal people so whatever the respect we are going to give to those people that is called the your highness children so since many days i wanted to meet you now i have got a chance to meet for you so i had a lot of respect towards you the fisherman is telling to the Raja here. But I did not come till now because I was not able to find a gift that was good enough for you. Today I was lucky enough to catch this. So, so this many days, since many days I am trying to meet for you. So when I wanted to meet for you, I wanted to give as a uh, gift something for you. Okay, when I meet. So this many days I did not get any gift. So lastly I have caught a good gift for you. What is that means? A fish I brought to you. Okay, now turning the page children, see the picture, everybody are looking into the picture I think so. He is the fisherman who is giving the respect to the king here and beside the king one uh, servant soldier also we can do, one servant one standing. Okay, now the one fish was placed, one fish was placed near to the foot of the king here. Right, now one more character. So in the first part we have came to know only two characters. Now three characters are being here. So the third character is the Raja or we can call it as the King of Sichuan. Okay, so King has been here, third character. What is your name? My man. Okay, my man means he is not his man. That means one of the person in his kingdom. One of the person in his kingdom. So he is asking his name. Fisherman. My name is Jal Raja. Okay. J A L. Jal A A J A. Sorry. A A J. Raj. Jal Raj. Okay. The name of the fisherman is nothing but Jal Raj. Now, your highness. Okay. Your highness. Raja 
I have heard of you. Okay, I have heard. Means before also I have heard about you. All fishermen respect you and say that you are the wisest among them. I respect all good and wise men among my people. So please sit down and tell me everything about this fish. So the Raja has already heard about this fisherman. He was very wise. So how many fishermen are there in this kingdom? They have told everything good about you. And I have liked you. Very good person and the wisest person in my kingdom. So you can sit down and explain about this fish from where you have caught and how you have caught this fish now the fisherman is here telling it is a fish that lives in deep sea far below the surface of the water so this is the very biggest fish which cannot live near the beaches here it yeah, always lives under the deep in the ocean from there i have caught it is telling it sometimes comes up and jumps several feet above the water so Sometimes when it feels hungry or when it feels pleasure, pleasure children, when it feels happy, it would come upon the surface of the water and it would jump. It came up this morning and fell into my nest. So whenever it wanted to jump, no? so in the early in the morning I have caught this fish in my net. Now it is here before you. So I have brought that fish, the very good fish daily by by seeing this fish, every people used to be get impressed. So that kind of fish I have caught you and brought in front of you, Raja instantly. Send it to your cooks immediately and you will enjoy your dinner today. So immediately you just take this fish and call your cooks. Okay. Uh, the, the person who cooks the food. Okay. For them you will call the cooks. Okay. Call them and tell them to have Cook it and you have your dinner today instantly. Now Radha, stay for dinner and enjoy it with us, my man. Okay, so along with me, you should have to stay here itself and have the dinner along with me. I invite you to dine in the palace today. Dine. D-I-N-E. Dine. The meaning of dine is nothing but children. Have the dinner. D-I-N-N-E-R. Have the dinner with me in my palace today who is telling raja is telling to the fisherman here now what shall i give you in return of this gift so what shall i give you you have brought the very precious fish to me for eating okay so what shall i give you in return of this fish he is asking now now the fisherman nothing your highness that means nothing your highness your highness and everybody in the palace must enjoy my gift. That is all I want. Okay. Nothing should be needed to me. The fisherman is saying nothing should be given to me. So I wanted only to enjoy you and your men in this palace by eating this fish here. Raja, no, that is not enough. Okay, simply I will not send you here from here. Okay, you must make something in return. So simply I cannot take the fish and have it have in my dinner. So in spite of that, you shall have to take something in return of this fish. Fisherman, then will your hands give me anything I ask for? Okay. So Raja, whatever I ask for you, will you give to me, give it to me? He is asking. No, the Raja Sri. Yes, anything. So whatever you ask to me, compulsorily, I will give it to you and put it in your hands here. Who is telling? Raja is telling to the fisherman here. Now the fisherman is began to offer to the king what he needed here. Then, please order your men to give me 200 lashes with a whip on my back. Okay. So he has asked, he has offered the punishment to the uh, he has offered, uh, offered punishment for the Raja here. Which kind of punishment? Call your men and give 200 lashes. The meaning of lash, M-I-S-H. Lash, already the meaning has given in the blog, children. A hit with a whip. Okay. A hit with a whip. W-H-I-P. Whip. Okay. So, Lash on and tell you the meaning of whip children. Lash is nothing but a hit with a whip. Okay. In Telugu we can call it Korada Debba children. Korada Debba. So whatever the lash, whatever the whip we are using to beat for the animals. Animals in the sense of bullock children. 
if the bullockers are traveling on the road if it doesn't listen the farmer used to beat with the whip that is called the lasso okay now what is this whip whip is nothing but one more meaning is given a long thin piece of rope or leather okay so what is given here means so it is one kind of a rope children which is used to beat for the animal so call your men and tell them to beat 200 whips on my back is telling you now raja what a strange request this is so which kind of request you are asking to me is telling please say you are a wise man sorry people say you are a wise man so i thought that you are a very wise man and the people of my kingdom also told, told that you are very wise but you are offering the punishment for, from me but i don't think your request to shows any wisdom but i don't think your request shows any wisdom okay what fun will you get out of lashes on your bags so i don't know which kind of i don't know which kind of request you are asking to me okay so by getting the lashes which kind of enjoyment you'll get i cannot understand the fisherman is telling you and your men can get some fun watching the man lashing me okay so the enjoyment i am not going to get raja from you okay so when i get the lashes on my back you and your men is going to get the happiness okay so i need that kind of happiness to see on your faces now raja is telling but i don't want to have such fun ask me for something else I don't want that kind of punishment. I don't want that kind of enjoyment. If any one of the wise people are going to be punished in front of me, I don't. If I am getting the happiness, I don't need the that kind of happiness. He is telling. Ask me for something else instead of that punishment. Instead of that enjoyment, you can ask one more offer to me. The fisherman. I don't. I do not wish for anything else. You are hands. Except that I don't want that kind of any other. offers to me raja all right then that means the raja is accepting the wish of the wish of the fisherman and he is accepting lastly he is telling all right then you will have your lashes are you ready for them okay so you will get the lashes are you ready to get the lashes now fisherman is telling yes i am your highness your highness but please call your gatekeeper in okay now he is offering for the raja to please i will accept whatever the punishment you are going to give me okay whatever the lashes you are going to give me i will accept it before that i need i need the gatekeeper to be called in the raja sent his men to the gatekeeper sent his men to the gatekeeper and in a few moments he appeared so the raja has sent his people to call for the gatekeeper within a few minutes only the gatekeeper has a stood in front of the raja here fisher minister your highness please give this man 100 lashes out of the 200 lashes that you have promised me so raja you have told that you will give me the 200 lashes no i have whatever i have offered to you so from those 200 lashes you just give 100 lashes to me and one more 100 lashes to the fisher man okay so here 100 lashes is getting to the fisherman and 100 for the gatekeeper okay right so these are the 200 lashes which the fisherman is going to be get from the raja here now the gatekeeper what 100 lashes why must i share this punishment with you he is putting the question okay so already we know that they had one deal so whatever the price given by the raja he should have to accept who should have to accept to the half of the price the gatekeeper should have to accept to. that is the condition that is the agreement that is the deal made between these two persons no children so the price is given by the raja is 200 lashes from those 200 lashes 100 is getting to the gatekeeper and 100 for the fisherman here right next one is what here i am getting 200 lashes from him and half of 200 is okay children see here so the gatekeeper is saying what 100 lashes why must i share this punishment with you now the fisherman is telling we agreed to divide the price of the fish between us okay now he reminded reminded that 
deal okay so we have already made the deal no now i am getting that 200 lashes you wanted half of anything i got from the raja in return of paid i am getting 200 lashes from him and half of 200 is 100 for you now the raja came to know that which kind of uh, what kind of deals were made by his uh, servants gatekeepers uh, he came to know not 100 you that get keeper all the 200 lashes and uh, dismiss him from my service so he ordered his men don't give this person 100 all the 200 lashes you for this uh, for this get keeper only for the get keeper only and send him from my palace dismiss from the palace only i feel ashamed because I kept such a bad servant all these days. Now he is feeling very sorrow. Who is feeling very sorrow, children? Raja is feeling very sorrow. So that this kind of dirty person, uh, dirty servant, he has uh, maintained this many days. You are indeed very wise, my good fisherman. So he is appreciating for the fisherman here. You are very wise. Okay, you are very wise and good. He told for the Raja told for the fisherman here. Now. everybody look into the picture children so the gatekeeper is getting the lashes here the person one of the servant is giving the lashes to the gatekeeper with the whip all of you can see the whip no it is the small what here whip means meaning i don't know a long thin piece of rope or leather it is a rope or the leather children okay with the rope or the leather the whip is going to be made now if you turn the page last paragraph children here last conversation is given here in the page number 114 this man was trying to cheat you okay so you have very cleverly brought punishment on him so the raja is telling to the wise man so this person tried to cheat you why can't i give the punishment to him he have very clever brought punishment on him i wish to give you a good reward for your cleverness and wisdom ask me anything by seeing his cleverness and his wisdom the raja is offering to the fisherman so whatever you want i can give you for your cleverness and for your wisdom also and the fisherman is telling here now the point has came here what the point means already we came to know that fisherman had one daughter he wanted to get married he wanted to get married to a good person okay good person but he don't have but he don't have a money he belongs to the very poor family you know now that offer is uh, now he is going to ask the request for the raja here fisherman i have a daughter and i must soon give her away in marriage i am very poor so i had one daughter i should have to give something in the marriage i don't have that much of money i belong to the very poor family now the raja is saying bring here the bride groom of your choice i shall get her married okay so i shall get her married means the raja is not going to get uh, get married to the fisherman's daughter here okay so the fisherman who chooses the person as the bride groom okay as the bride groom okay call him the raja sri call that person whom you choose okay i will be giving to that person that much of reward not reward the money right now the fisherman is being in thankful to the raja here he is speaking i thank your highness okay prabhuva in telugu your highness prabhuva i was very thankful for your good thing what you have done to me okay so this this is the this is the reason children about the half of the price part 2 hope everybody might have understood i think so i have divided this video into the two parts children part 1 and part 2 everybody should have to refer those videos and read the lesson once you will be able to understand easily so in the next class we are going to have the new topics okay children till then keep watching this video bye to everybody